Welcome back to Robert Lowe, where I show you the ins and out of graphic design as it pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And today, you guys, I want to show you my overprint technique for a t-shirt. You guys have definitely seen this before. It's nothing new, but it hasn't been used a lot because that concept has been out the door with pop culture. But I want to bring it back. I want to show you guys how to do this, and I want to show you guys how to do it right. So we're not going to be using Photoshop or anything like that. We're actually going to be doing this in Illustrator, something that you guys should be getting into anyways because I preach Illustrator to you guys all the time. Now with this one, I want to introduce to you guys Rob Man. Rob Man is like my new little kind of logo that you guys are going to be seeing at the bottom of my videos when I can get this uploaded. But you guys seem to like Little Bobby, which was the one that I was using for like my videos and stuff like that. But I want to introduce to you guys Rob Man, which is pretty much just me and Pop, you know what I'm saying? So this is going to be kind of fun for me, you guys. I hope you guys like this one. I hope you guys learn a lot from it. And if you do, go ahead and like and subscribe because I do this all the time. And in the comment section below, let me know what you want me to do next. Let me know. If there's something I can do that you guys haven't really seen a tutorial on that you guys would like to learn how to do. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and make magic. So here we are in Illustrator and I pretty much got Rod Man ready. Like I can scale him up and down and he's a vector. So there's not going to be any type of pixelation or anything like that. He's going to look good at all sizes. But what I first want to do real quick is just go ahead and make some guides. So we need to divide this up into four panels. And the first panel is pretty simple to do because it's pretty much making a hot dog. So we can just pretty much take 14 and divide that by two and get seven. So we're going to bring this guide over to seven. Now in the second one, which is pretty much the hamburger, we got to divide up 17 into two. So we need to take 17 divided by two and that's going to give us 8.5. So we're just going to bring that down and we're going to put this right here like that. Now with our guides there, we just go ahead and lock that down and we don't even have to worry about it. Now we can take Rob Man and we can just kind of pull that over into the splash that he needs to be. So we can put this one like right here and then we can take both of those and then kind of move those down here like this. Now to get those duplicates or whatnot, what I did was I held down Alt and I clicked and I moved around. So that's how you get that going. But now that I got that done, what I want to do is just open up another layer real quick and I want to go ahead and pretty much start this effect. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the rectangle tool to create a rectangle over here on the top left. And I'm just going to go ahead and make this one pretty much like this. I want to put this one on white too. Now holding down Alt like I told you guys before, clicking and then holding down Shift. I'm going to go ahead and bring this one over to the right like this. Now going into the layers panel and clicking on this circle, I select out both of these. I can go ahead and hold down alt, click, and then hold down shift. And I can bring this one down as well to get this one down here. And what that did was it pretty much covered up the entire artboard. And that looks pretty good to me. So what I want to do is click on maybe this one right here. And I want to turn this one red. And then I actually want to turn this one yellow. And then for this one, I just want to go ahead and turn this one black. And there's a reason why I want to turn this one black. It's not going to make sense right now, but just follow with me. I'm going to go ahead and click on all of this. And I want to go into window and I want to bring up the attributes. Now attributes is pretty cool because it lets you overprint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to overprint the fill and this is what we get. Now you guys didn't see what happened because we're not in that preview right now. So if we go to view, we go down to overprint preview. This is what we get. Now this looks pretty good, but hey, this black one right here, like what's going on with that, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna take the Rob Man from there, which will be this one right here. I wanna go ahead and copy that one. And then on a new layer, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command F to paste that in front. And that looks pretty good right there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into layer three, which we need to go ahead and name Overprint. And then we're gonna go into our transparencies. And I'm gonna make a mask. Now I wanna invert the mask. And inside of this layers panel, I wanna drop in the texture. So if my texture dropped in, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this one off to the side like this. And I want to bring this in like this. And then I want to go ahead and go back into the transparencies and drop this down to like 80%. And that looks pretty good, but we still got this problem right here. So how are we going to fix this out? So what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much export all of this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and shut all of this down over here on the layers panel side. We're going to go to file export export as and we're just going to go ahead and call this overprint i'm gonna hit okay and that's going to export out everything that we need now i want to open up a new artboard so i'm gonna go back into this i'm gonna hit create i'm gonna create a new artboard and in this artboard i just want to go ahead and drop in the overprint that i just created right so i'm just going to bring this in like right here like this image trace this so we're going to hit okay on this image trace and that's pretty much just going to do something a little bit like this so i'm gonna go into the presets and i'm just going to go ahead and hit 16 colors 
and that's gonna bring everything back in. So the colors went away with the image trace, but bringing in 16 colors is gonna bring all those colors back in. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit expand. So cool, so we got everything back from the other side, right? Like we pretty much just dropped this in and it still kind of looks the same, you know? So we got a little bit more things to work with, but let's just go ahead and take Rob Man from the other one and then drop him in over here like this. So we're gonna go ahead and hit command V and paste him and put him over here like this. And that looks pretty cool to me, right? So I can kind of fix some of this stuff out. So let's just say like maybe, you know, this red right here is just way too powerful for red. Like we can click on this, okay? And we can drop down the transparencies for it. So we can make this maybe like a 60. And we can do the exact same thing for this black over here. So we can click on this black and we can drop this down to like maybe 50 or something like that. 51 looks pretty good like that. And that looks pretty good there. Now this is looking pretty cool or whatnot, but I want to go into this black one real quick. I want to go into this Rob man and I want to hit command C. And then I want to hit command F and paste that one on top of the other one. So we're going to go into this one that was already there. So the one that was already there, we're going to go into Pathfinder and we want to go ahead and unite this one, okay? And if I turn off the copy, we get this one in the background, which is kind of black and all that stuff, which is what we want, okay? And now that this is pretty much ready to go, I'm going to go into File, Export, and then Export As, and then pretty much export this out the way that I want it to be. And with this final tweak, you guys, that is it. So overprint is pretty powerful, and I hope you guys can use it some more. I hope you guys learned a lot, and if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I want to see you guys succeed. I want to see you guys do some awesome things. Now, this is just kind of like a small little project that I like to do just here and there. And you guys can get some ideas off the stuff that I'm doing. So if you guys actually emulate this or you guys do this on your own, send me a picture in like my Instagram and Twitter. And I'll definitely feature you guys on the next T-Shirt Tuesday. But with that being said, you guys, I got to get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.